Hey, what's up, everyone? I bet a lot of you, most of you bronies and sisters have seen the latest episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, the last roundup. And to everyone's shock, Derpy Hoos was called out and she spoke. And many people were really happy, including me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she finally talked. How awesome. She's finally an actual character. Because she is one of my favorite characters. Well, she was one of my favorite background ponies, but now she's like one of my favorite actual characters. And I'm so glad that they finally included her in the show. And most people I see were really happy and excited. I'm like, yay, this is so cool. But as I've noticed, many people also complained about it, how it was offensive and... Oh my gosh, it's so overwhelming and annoying. Like, really, it's just a cartoon. Um, I honestly enjoy it, and I hope these derpy haters, or whatever you want to call them, don't end up ruining derpy for the rest of us who actually enjoy derpy hoops. The thing is, I guess people find it offensive because they think it's making fun of mentally challenged people, or whatever. <sighs> well... Think about it. Many cartoons always had those ditzy characters from like since like when cartoons first came out. I mean, think of like Ed from Ed and Eddie and Goofy, of course, and Patrick from SpongeBob. Even though you know maybe Patrick's a little over the top, but you know it's for, it's supposed to be funny. It's just a cartoon, and for, like reading fanfics about Derpy and and how she's portrayed by many bronies I I actually like that they actually made her into that character in the actual show I'm glad they made her like that I wouldn't want her any different than she already is anyways everyone sees her as different some like there's probably maybe at least 10 to 12 if not more different personalities or you know ideas of how derpy hooves is you know and you know the most common is her being kind of ditzy clumsy a little slow or whatever and that's how she is in the show which is good which is cool i think i love her as who she is now but the thing is i don't find how it's so offensive so what if she's a little slow i mean as long as she's not like I mean, even if she was mentally challenged, as long as they're not singling her out or making fun of her or making her look like, you know, like she, like, all her attention to her because she's an idiot or whatever. No, I mean, she blends in with the crowd. Heck, she might even have a job and a family. Just like, you know, she's just like seen as any other pony in that show. So even if she was slow or mildly mentally challenged, she is not like, single out or anything and as for rainbow dash yelling at her that's because rainbow dash does that to all a lot of the characters like i remember how she treated fluttershy and how um she treats treated pinkie pie and that's just how she is she's not just she's not like that just to derby but she get she was trying to be patient with derby hooves so you know and this is how i see derby hoops just my opinion no one has to follow this everyone has their own opinion about derbies but i always seen her as not fully blown fully not fully blown mentally challenged but maybe a little slow like mildly mentally slow and that's what makes her clumsy and sometimes she does things before thinking them out and you know that's why she always gets into things and bumps into things and at the same time, she's still silly and bubbly. I mean, you could still be slow and silly and bubbly, too. I mean, you, you you could still be both. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's how I see her, that she's mildly slow, but not flow bone, mentally challenged. She, I mean, she's not just sitting there banging her head against the wall, drooling, and going, duh, the whole time, or, you know, over the top. You know, as long as she's not over the top, as long as she's not singled out or treated bad, it's fine. I see nothing wrong with it if she is a special needs pony or whatever. But that's how I see her, that she is mildly slow and at the same time, silly, childlike, fun. So, in a way, I see her as a combination of both of the most common portrayals of Derpy Hoops. It's a silly, bubble, clumsy girl 
and then the mildly slow. You know, so maybe she has a mild, very mild mental disability, but at the same time, it doesn't really affect her that much. You know, she's just like any other pony, just different. Obviously, but that's about it. And, um,. Yeah, that's pretty much how I see her. But many people have different opinions on her, and that's okay. And, you know, I mean, it's just a cartoon. You can use your imagination and see Derpy Hooves any way you want. But the thing is, I don't get why so many people are offended by it. They think it's making fun of mentally challenged people. Really, it's it's not. It's just a cartoon. Because there's always been cartoons like that that were, like, goofy and weird and sh random, whatever, and that were far flow flow full blown than derpy hooves that might would even actually be considered more offensive but really they're not offensive because it's a cartoon it's supposed to be funny if cartoons were serious then what would be the point of watching a cartoon cartoons are supposed to be fun they're not making fun of anybody so i don't get why everyone's getting offended about her making fundamentally challenged people because obviously she's not she's just Derpy hooves. She's a weird, silly character, and I'm, I mean, and they don't, and they don't really make her over the top, really, or whatever. And you know, it, it this is the first time she actually like had an actual part in the show, so you don't know, really even know what she's they're gonna do with her. Maybe they'll make an episode about her, about you know, and also maybe it's good sometimes to have a special character in the show and a show just as long as they don't like make fun of her, because it would treat teach kids about acceptance and about people who are actually different in real life and that there's actually people who are like that so it might actually teach kids stuff because you know originally the show is for kids but it's for everyone at the same time so that's pretty much how i see it i actually like seeing her in between a little bit so but also bubbly and silly at the same time a combination of those both make her a very unique and fun person I think. But that's just my opinion. You might see her as like super smart or s slow or just clumsy or whatever. It doesn't matter. That's just their opinion. That's my opinion though of what I said. And I just wish people would stop complaining about her and how horrible her voice sounds and everything because then you're just going to ruin it for everyone else who actually enjoys her. So please just like cool it. It's just a cartoon. It's not meant to be offensive. The reason why they made her like that is because that's how most bronies see her as. So of course they're going to make her based on what her fans see her as. I mean, they're not going to make something just totally different. That wouldn't make any sense. So really, what do you expect? I mean, I don't know. This is just a guess. Let's say maybe 80% of bronies. I mean, I'm, this is not based on an actual thing. I'm just guessing. 80% 80% bronies actually enjoy Derby Hughes. Well, the other 20%, you know, say, oh my god, it's offensive, blah, 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 blah. Think, big vote usually always tops lower votes, sorry. I mean, that's how most people want to see Derby Hughes, so that's how she's going to be. I mean, if you don't like it, I mean, you could stop watching the show, or you could ignore it, or you could just simply know that it's just a cartoon, it's supposed to be funny, and it's not meant to make fun of anyone. And you can see Derby Hooves any way you want to see her. Use your imagination. It's just a cartoon. Also, since she's new to the show, you know, is an actual character, She, um, you never know what they're going to do with her or whatever. And maybe people actually learn a lesson about her or something. Who knows? You just need to give it a chance. I just really stop, wish people would stop making fun. I mean, complaining about how horrible her voice is and her actions and stuff, because that's how she is, you know, derpy, whatever. But, you know, silly and stuff, or clumsy, or mildly slow, or whatever. I mean, I don't see her as making fun of anyone. That's how derp everyone sees derpy, so that's just my opinion. You could write down in the comments what you think. Or like what you think about this video or what um you think about Derpy Who's new voice or whatever. Do you like it? Do you not? Whatever. It's fine. Just as long as it's not rude. Because I don't like rude comments. So if you leave something rude, I'm going to erase it. But if it's something to do with this video or whatever, it'll, it'll stay. So anyways. 
Uh, it's been about 10 minutes, so I've been rambling on. Anyways, I'm gonna get going, so I'll see you guys later. And maybe I'll do another op opinion video about something. That's another thing you guys could leave in the comments if you want. Just put something in the comments about something else you might want me to talk about. I don't know. But I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. See ya. And remember, derpy hooves rules.